are in the vegan food fair at in Bath. This is um, it's it's been going on for only two years, but we've got like lovely treats to have. There's a banquet in there. Lots of uh, this is a this is a wildly different um, food bar, as well as absolutely has to be said, delicious, delicious pate, completely vegetarian and vegan. So yeah, we're hoping to get like a good crowd in and get people educated in what we're doing today. So. Yeah, let's hope, let's hope the sun just keeps shining and the people are still uh, they're going to come in hungry because there's an amazing amount of, an array of good things to eat. <laughs> Join us in the kitchen of the Bath Vegan Fair. And my name's Steve, and it's all a bit, it's all a bit hectic in there. Um, and it's really busy out there. There's a big queue. There's a big queue of people just coming for trying um, various things. We've got carrot and coriander soup. We have a Mexican chili, a fake chicken chicken masala, kitchery curry, and at some point we'll have um, some point we'll have a a curry. Uh, nope. A coconut and coriander soup. That's so cool. Yeah, looking good. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all looking good out here. The the fake chicken tikka masala is going particularly quickly. Yeah, it's all vegan. Yeah. So we're at the Buff Vegan Fair in the Percy Centre. And I'm sitting here with Steve, and uh, this is the flyer. Um, how did it come about that the Bath Animal Action um, Group actually brought the uh, vegan fair into existence this year then, Steve? Okay, um, well, partly we're inspired by the idea of vegan fairs taking place all around the country, such as the Bristol Vegan Fair. Um, that's a once a year event, it gets in thousands of people. But there's also lots of um, smaller community groups doing vegan fairs. Um, in Bath, back in October, there was the um, vegan fair put out, put on by Eat Out Vegan Bath, um, which we had some help with. So we're just sort of following that model, really, and trying to get the idea of veganism spread out to the so populace. The, um, the ideas uh, running. Um, yeah, basically. Each, uh, as often as possible. Yep. Yeah. And it's um, been quite successful. Yeah, it has. Yeah, there's been a bunch of people coming through. A lot of um, food. Um, a lot of food. A lot of good food. We've been eating a, um, a tikka masala. Yeah. Um, made courtesy of John and Rachel. Uh, fake chicken in there. And of course, um, with the food, um, we've been able to actually highlight the issues. Um, we're looking at uh, animal rights. That's better. Yeah. The um, alternatives. Yeah, we got. Um, yeah, like you say, it highlights either what some people call animal welfare or animal rights. Um, there's linked issues such as the anti vivisection movement, um, the environmental aspects of veganism, or well, either the an environmental pollution based on an animal-based or omnivorous diets. Also, just the benefits of, of plant-based diets for, for health and the environment. Because we can uh, actually do a lot for the planet by um, reducing our carbon footprint and going vegan is one of the ways that we can do that. That's basically it, yeah. Um, I won't get into detail, detail into it here. There's plenty of other sites where you can find the exact figures, but basically that, that adds up to that. Um, diets based on consuming animals. Um, it involves deforestation. It involves huge expenditures of, of water and land. Lost energy, basically. And, uh, um, quite a severe um, catastrophe. Really. Basically, yeah. Um, because now we're feeding most of human edible foods, grains and and wheat to animals. That's led part way to the food famines going all around the country, um, all around the world, rather. Sorry. Yeah. So events like this are very important to um, I think so. these issues and um, offer an alternative that people can still uh, eat and um, live in society without any um, prejudice against them. That's basically it, yeah. Um, also, it's just a nice, 
aside from what we're trying to promote, it's just a nice idea on um, a free food fair, sort of people coming in from all around. It's nice. So thank you, uh, Bath Animal Network, Animal Action, and I uh, look forward to um, actually uh, seeing another one in the um, coming year. Yeah, I hope so. Well, thank you.